Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is check if the sentence is pangram. So by definition, a sentence is a pangram when every letter of the English alphabet is appearing at least once inside the sentence. So we are given a sentence which contains only lowercase English letters and we have to return true if a sentence is a pangram else we have to return false. So this is the input string given to us. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So this sentence contains all the 26 lowercase letters inside it at least once. So that is why you return true as the output. Since we have to check if a letter is appearing at least once, I'm going to use a hash set to solve this question. So simply I'm going to iterate through the input string from left to right and add one character at a time into the hash set. And finally, I'm going to check if the length of the hash set is 26. If it is 26, we can return true, else we can return false. As the constraint mentions that the string contains only lowercase English letters and we have to check if these letters are appearing at least once. That is why I'm checking if the length of the string is equal to 26 or not. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and this is the input string given to us. The return type is boolean so we have to return either true or false as the output. So as I've said, let us declare a hash set which will contain characters and I'm iterating through the input string from starting to end of the string. And in each iteration, I'm going to add the character at the ith index position inside the set. So this will add all our characters inside the set. And now I'm checking if the size of the set is equal to 26. If it is equal to 26, we return true, meaning all the letters are appearing at least once. If not, I'm going to return false as the output. Now let's try to run the code. And our test cases are running. Let's submit the code. And our solution has been accepted. And the time complexity of this question is O of n where n is the length of the input string. And that's it guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next part.